Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm going to share today how I use a traveler's notebook or TN to track my spiritual life. I've done this video before, but I did it years ago and someone recently commented that they were interested to know what I'm doing today. So one thing to note is that how I track my spiritual life isn't religion specific. So really any religion should be able to use the same method that I do to track my spiritual life. It's basically a foundation of gratitude, reaching out to people to let them know that I'm thinking of them and evaluating myself in areas of growth that I'm trying to work on. In this video, I'll share exactly what tools I use as well as actually showing you what it looks like when I'm using it. I have completely changed up how I track my life spiritually before I was using this setup. Huge scripture writing all in here. This is a number seven Foxy Fix sugar. And while I really love using a TN and all of the artistic pursuits, it just felt too big and like I had too much space and it was too separated out. I've always wanted to try a true traveler's notebook like the Midori traveler's notebook in Japan but I decided rather than springing for a cost of one of those, just to make sure that I liked the size, I went ahead and got the Moterm TN on Amazon. The leather actually smells pretty good. I think the lighting shows the color pretty well. The thing that I like about this is the scratches generally just rub out, which is nice. So here's what the leather looks like inside. The strap is just connected inside here very solidly. It's one, it comes with one strap, but it also comes with this nice wooden pen. It has a twist off top. It's not the highest quality pen out there, but it's, it's nice. It's got some weight to it. It also came with an extra band in case you have to restring or want to restring. It also came with an extra jump band, came with a charm, and it came with this clip that allows it to be a pen holder. And this pen does fit in it pretty decently, so it's a pretty wide pen holder, or you could get one that has a clip. I actually haven't used these parts. I will obviously keep that, I don't know, I probably won't have a charm on it, and I might keep this because I might want a pen on it, but right now I'm not. And I can always use an extra jump band. It also comes with your standard size signature or insert. It has your typical grid, it has lined, and it has just plain. I also, I got some extra signatures or inserts from Michaels, which I actually prefer because the inside is the normal craft paper color, whereas the inside of the Moterm inserts has this like white kind of plasticky cardboard, which I know that's probably picky. And it came with another card holder. It comes with a lot for the price point that it is, which was $27. So you really can't beat that for all the inserts and everything that it comes with for a piece of leather. I have three main components of this. The first one is scripture. Again, like I said earlier, anyone of any religion could use this method to track their spiritual life. This could be quotes, it could be whatever books, religious texts that you're using that you would write in here. For me, it is Bible verses that I'm writing down as I'm trying to work on certain memory verses or, you know, like this one about not being quarrelsome but being kind to everyone. I literally read that before I go into work meetings, for instance, just to remind and ground myself. I also will just take some watercolor and shade out on the pages and then we'll write over this as I'm working on more scriptures to learn. And I also have quotes here. This is from the Amanda Gorman poem and SM Plans offered this as a free printable and so I just printed that out and put it in with some washi. So that's the first main part is copying information from a religious text. For me, it's the Bible. And then the second piece, this is where how I was doing it last time was too separated. I decided I just wanted one insert for 2021. So this this is where it gets a little dicey because I have to be careful about what I show here since this is a lot of private information, not just for me, but for about other people. But I get these 
calendars free printable from SM Plans and I print them out. She has these really pretty calendars and all I do is I will circle dates and maybe just write a little note by the side to remind me to reach out to that person to let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you. I know you're doing X, Y, and Z. Just based on things that they'll say in conversation. And so I like to have this. Is there anyone I should reach out to or be praying for? So I record that there. And, and I then, would recommend this tip for anyone as you're laying something out and figuring out what you're doing. I did this with my bullet journal this year and it was really helpful. It doesn't make it perfect, but it does help. So this is where I would lay out the April monthly calendar from SM Plans. She releases it in her Facebook group. And then what I do is on this side, I do a gratitude journal. And there are about enough lines that you could write the whole month in there. And sometimes I don't get to it every day, but this is where I'll have one thing that I write that I'm grateful for each morning. And then this is where I write the prayer request or sending positive thoughts to people. But this is where I put people that have specific prayer requests in my family, my friends, the leaders of our country, our community. This is where I would write all of that out. And again, it doesn't, it's not complete sentences or long. It can just be a quick bullet. And then I have on this back page, I evaluate myself. So this is where I'm taking the scriptures that I'm learning here, what I'm learning in my devotions, what God is impressing upon my heart. And this is where I do my honest and raw journaling about struggles that I'm having. How am I doing? If I have a really bad day, I will record it. If I have if I have a victory, I will record it. So I try not to be legalistic about am I doing this every day or every week, but I do try to do it throughout the month as I'm feeling led. So sometimes this will spread into other pages or maybe I have more prayer requests that I need to put on here. It divides out to about three pages per month. So my goal is, is to have these three pages and then I would start in May here and just go to the end. And then at the end of the year, I have one full book that has prayer requests, gratitude, each month who I've been praying for and when, and just be able to store this that way. Here in prayers is also where I will want to write down answered prayers. The last section is what I'm calling inspiration. You can see I'm keeping this very simple. My last um, had a lot of ephemera and stickers and decoration and I'm just feeling like I want something more simple and less encumbered. This section is my inspiration section. It's a folder that also came with this mo term. I have a list printable insert from Annie Plans Printables. This is where I want to put any ideas that I have for podcasts I want to listen to, books that I want to read, resources that I want to look into, or just ideas that I have during my quiet time. Sometimes as I'm praying, things come to mind and I just want a place where I can just jot things down. And the way this printable is, it's not attached. I've actually done from the middle and just pulled it out and just started fresh. So I just have these scribbles and then once I've done, moved these and migrated these to where they need to go, I then can just pitch them. This is a notebook that I got at Walmart and I am doing watercolor paintings in it. I cut this out and glued it onto the cover and then I felt, like I said, I found this at Walmart. It's very thin, but it's big enough for me to be able to just watercolor. And this is something where I have decided that doing some artistic and creative endeavors with my family or maybe even on my own is a good expression for me. And so my goal here is to focus on creation. So not just animals, but maybe plants. As I'm out in nature, which is where I like to worship and spend my time communing with God, that I can have some time just watercoloring and noticing things and enjoying it. And so that's in here as well. Like I said, it is narrow for this notebook, but it fits in very nicely. You can see it goes over the top a little bit. It fits fine in there. And I'm really excited to continue to pull art into my spiritual time. If you have any questions, please let me know. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something or got some inspiration for it. And if you would like to share down below in the comments ways that you track your spiritual life, I would love to hear about them. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, then subscribe, of course. And until next time.